Welcome back, everyone. Today we're highlighting a troubling incident at Chicago's O'Hare International Airport. A customs officer allegedly used CCP propaganda against a U.S. citizen, prompting lawmakers to call for an investigation. This situation raises serious concerns about constitutional rights and foreign influence. Don't forget to hit subscribe and share your thoughts below as we delve into the implications of this event. U.S. lawmakers are calling for an investigation into a U.S. customs officer who used Chinese communist hate propaganda in his official capacity against artists belonging to the New York-based Shenyun Performing Arts. Representative Scott Perry, Republican Pennsylvania, told the Epic Times' sister outlet NTD, espousing Chinese Communist Party propaganda and coercion and intimidation as an official U.S. government action that's exceptional. The incident on March 11th involved a customs officer at Chicago's O'Hare International Airport who spoke Chinese with a mainland accent. They're Farland Gong. They're political. They're illegal. The customs officer told his nearby co-workers in English as he screened Teresa Du, a tour manager with Shenyun Performing Arts, which showcases China before communism in performances around the world. Ms. Du is a natural-born U.S. citizen and all artists are either U.S. citizens or hold valid visas. Mr. Perry said, This is an American citizen espousing their First Amendment rights, coming back home to America and essentially being intimidated by the federal government. That's a whole different level. The officer's behavior concerned Mr. Perry so much that he wrote a letter to U.S. Customs and Border Protection on March 15 highlighting the Allegations of discrimination by a customs officer against U.S. citizens based on constitutionally protected religious beliefs. He said the officer's behavior was due to the agent's apparent sympathies with the Chinese Communist Party. If substantiated, this is a breathtaking and reprehensible violation of their constitutional rights, he wrote. The phrase, they are illegal, he said, raises further severe concerns. Is this officer working to assert Chinese policy through his official U.S. government position? Founded in New York in 2006 by Chinese artists who fled communist persecution, Shenyun has been targeted by the Chinese Communist Party for nearly two decades. Ms. Du, as well as many Shenyun performers, practice Farlan Gong, an ancient Chinese spiritual discipline that focuses on self-improvement through meditation and teachings based on the principles of truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance. The customs officer spoke to Ms. Du in Chinese until she switched to English. He asked her, Are you being sponsored by Farlan Gong? Ms. Du declined to answer. Mr. Perry wondered why that line of questioning would be considered appropriate. I want to know this individual's background, he said, referring to the Chinese-speaking customs officer. We absolutely need to be on the lookout for these kinds of things. And I think we need to be proactive. Multiple other lawmakers also found the treatment of Ms. Du disturbing. Representative Brian Babin, Republican Texas, who represents Ms. Du's home state, said it was totally inexcusable for this to happen in the United States at the hands of an American official. There should be a thorough investigation, and if it proves to be accurate, the customs official should be terminated immediately, he told the Epic Times. We should never allow the PRC, People's Republic of China, one of the most repressive countries on the planet, to have influence over our federal government. Representative Don Bacon, Arneb, similarly said he hopes the incident gets investigated. A law enforcement type official at the airport harassing an American citizen, we have freedom of religion here and we should protect that, Mr. Bacon told NTD, adding that there should be some disciplinary action taken for such behavior. Having seen Shen Yun perform just days earlier in Boise, Representative Russ Fulcher, Republican Idaho, described the performance as fabulous, exemplifying an artistry combining history with art that doesn't necessarily align with the current Chinese government and the current Chinese direction. To see that they have been interrupted, you have to ask the question as to why, what's the motivation behind that, he told NTD. There's so many concerns about this, he said of the incident, because why were they targeted? Mr. Perry has been alarmed about evidence of the CCP's infiltration of America, including reports of several Chinese police stations operating on U.S. soil. You've got to wonder who's watching the watchman, he said, referring to the customs officer. How is this person vetted? How did he get to this position? 
He said immediate investigation is critical to ensure the protection of all U.S. citizens' First Amendment rights. And perhaps as urgent is the need to ascertain and prevent officers with foreign sympathies from gaining and using an official position to assert their personal beliefs on others, he said, adding that he expects findings of the investigation to be shared with Congress. That wraps up our discussion for today. If you found this information insightful and want to stay updated on similar stories, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Your support helps us bring more content like this to light. Thanks for watching.